hello students welcome to a channel ac education in this session you are going to learn chapter 11 database concepts content of this video is characteristics of dbms and advantages of dbms i hope you remember what is dbms what is dbms so dbms is a software okay this software is used to create define and manipulate database that means a collection of data is going to be stored in the computer and it is going to be defined and manipulated in a proper manner using this software dbms we know up to this there are many dbms softwares we not at discussed about that simply we know what is the data am i right then you know what is the information and what is database data or raw facts so data is the raw facts then information is the organized and formatted data is processed organized and formatted to make a meaningful information then database database is a collection of related data in a organized way so the software which is going to manage the database is said to be dbms now we are going to see the characteristics how would be the dbms data stored in tables data stored in tables how would be the table see here this is the table format can you see the student number student name student age student class and student section so these are the headings and below that each one is a related data and it is said to be a record 1101 student number with the name of kannan with the age of 14 is in the class of 9 in the section a so the data is in horizontal is a related thing so it is said to be a single record so this is the manner how the database is going to store the data now first point of the characteristics of dbms data stored in tables data is never directly stored into the database data is stored into tables created inside the database you can imagine as database as a folder name and the collection of files inside the folder or the tables dbms also allows to have relationship between tables it's very important because because of this point relationship between the tables that means one table can be connected with another table it gives a important important work or important uh, concept that is said to be relational data that means the relationship between the tables then only the data can be organized and easily manipulated fetched everything which makes the data more meaningful and connected so we are going to learn this and we are going to apply this concept in later things now we must know first characteristics of the dbms is the data is stored in tables so a database is a collection of tables and we can have relationship between the tables which are present in a database is it clear children next point is reduced redundancy so what is redundancy duplication of data in the modern world hard drives are very cheap but earlier when the hard drives were too expensive unnecessary repetitions of data in the database was a big problem simply we can have if we view our smartphone the memory is having repeated photo snaps or repeated files okay then there are some softwares to clear the duplicate files also the same thing but dbms follows normalization it's a technique 
what's the technique is which divides the data in such a way that repetition is minimum so because of the concept of normalization present in dbms it is having a character of reduced redundancy that means it will not have duplicate values sometimes they may appear but there is a formula to have that is it clear children first point database stores the data in the form of table inside the database next the tables can have relationship then the point is normalization so it's a technique to divide the data in such a way that repetition is minimum because of this data duplicate data duplicate records are not found in the database next one is data consistency on live data it is being continuously updated and added maintaining the consistency of data can become a challenge but dbms handles it by itself the best example is while you are browsing or purchasing something in the amazon if you have view your cart you will have numerous uh, wish list that means you have added many things in your cart sometimes you will delete sometimes it will be in your place itself so these data are whenever you open and main open your account in a mobile or in some other's mobile or in your in a laptop or in a desktop whenever you open your account you can easily view all the orders what you have viewed what is in your cart what is in your wish list so all the things are maintained in a pakka manner so this is possible because of dbms next support multiple user then concurrent access same thing multiple user means we cannot say that amazon is used by one person at a time so that amazon application is opened by many number of numerous uh, customers or so amazon is accessed at a time by numerous people and that is said to be multiple user concurrent access means the same product can be accessed at the same time by many people so dbms allows multiple user to work on it update insert delete at the same time still manages to maintain the data consistency that means if i add a uh, thing to my cart it has to say whether it is present in the stock or not sometimes within 5 minutes we can see a message as this item is not in stock have you ever uh, experienced that so this is all possible because it is booked or bought by many people means it will say that there is no stock so each and every time the database is maintained in a proper manner because of this dbms so what are the things you have we have learned one is it stored in the tables and relationship between the tables are possible next one is reduced redundancy duplicate values are maintained properly because of normalization technique next data consistency even though it is continuously changed that is updation is done deletion is done even though the data is handled in a proper manner then multiple users can use and same time concurrent access also possible next one is query language so dbms provides users with a simple query language using which data can be easily fetched inserted fetched means retrieving inserted means giving a new data deleting means deleting existing data updated means modifying the existing data so query language this means um we can do this like ms word just clicking a button or a option we can change something that is said to be normal next one is query language the same thing can be done using a statements or programming this query language is going to be learned in the chapter 12 in elaborate so same thing if there is a software for the dbms uh, yes you are going to learn mysql as the software dbms in your syllabus 
so while i open and explain that dbms you will get an idea so adding a uh, adding a record or deleting a record is very easy in one of the method just like the word user friendly just uh, you select the option click the option you can easily do it another one is we have to write a coding like python and we are like python not python uh, like some uh, statements to insert a record delete a record that is said to be sql language that is query language this you are going to learn in elaborate in your 12th chapter so it will be very interesting next one is security the dbms also takes care of the security of data this is very important because lots of informations are stored so it should be in a protected manner so protecting the data from unauthorized access in a typical dbms we can create user accounts with different access permission using which we can easily secure our data by restricting user access yes that means giving permissions some users we can give the permission only you can see you cannot delete edit or anything any updation cannot be done so likewise we can give authentication or authorization for accessing the data next one is dbms supports transaction it allows us to better handle and manage data integrity in real world application which or where multi threading is extensively used that means here the data integrity in real world application means if i am selecting a product in amazon and i am buying that means i have to do some process right i have to select and i have to keep that first i have to keep it in the cart and i have to buy through some online transaction or uh, cash on payment like that i there is a procedure to buy the uh, product then it allows us to better handle better handle and manage data integrity in real world application means that data from which person it is purchased where it should be delivered through which gateway it is that means the payment is done whether it is in a card payment or internet banking or whether it is a cash on delivery everything is maintained in a organized thing and there is a honesty to maintain that so that type of uh, manipulation is said to be data integrity so where multi threading is extensively used means multi threading threading means error handling so if you have noticed while we are paying the amount if there is any sudden shutdown or if any um, yeah if by mistake if we have closed the uh, tab means there will be a message it will be properly maintained it will not take the amount it will say that as you processed the um, payment but it is interrupted whether you want to continue or not so each process is maintained properly this is very important while online transaction or maintaining the database so dbms is properly having the data integrity and multi threading concept multi threading means error handling so these are the characteristics of uh, dbms I'll learn thoroughly it's a five mark question and also important question next one what is the advantages of dbms segregation of application program that is separation and modulation next minimal data duplication that is uh, data redundancy duplicate data is not allowed if there is allowing means there is there will be some procedure and concept easy retrieval of data using query language this query language you are going to learn in the 12th chapter reduced development time this is very important development time that means creating a database creating the table and storing inside the database it takes only less amount of time and maintenance also very easy so these are the advantages of dbms so dbms means it's a software it is going to maintain the database so what is the database it's a collection of uh, data in the form of table so how would be the table it will be like this there will be a heading and each heading is said to be a column or a attribute and the horizontal uh, 
based data are said to be a single row or a record or a tuple so this is all together said to be a table or a relation we are going to learn this in elaborate so for this session you have learnt what is the characteristics and what is the advantages of dbms that's all for the session learn well thank you have a good day